The timeline has changed. The future is rewritten. That which is dead now lives again. But if there is still one constant in the multiverse, no, it's not the dominance of blue-black control and mono-red or... Well, okay, it is that. But it is the high cost of decks in standard. Do you just want to go into Friday Night Magic and play, but are all out of kidneys to sell in order to afford a deck? Then fight back with mono-black. Standard Mono Black is an aggro deck with an emphasis on warriors, as well as the trademark parasitism of black mana, gaining life from your opponent's loss of life. While it may not win you a pro tour, this deck only costs about $25, and will perform a lot better at in-store events than either the event deck or clash pack will by themselves. Let's take a look. There's only two to three cards of any significant cost, and chances are you already own some, if not all of these. The biggest investment you will make is in a playset of blood-soaked champions. This is as expensive as it gets at the whopping price of $1.90 each. So that playset is costing $7.60 as of the filming of this video. Next, you'll need a playset of Mardu Strike Leaders, which will run you $5 as well as three Bile Blights for $6. And that's it. Everything else is going to be nickels and dimes, comparatively. Mono Black Aggro relies on warriors like Mardu Shadow Spear, Mogus's Marauder, Tormented Hero, and Blood Chin Rager. These forces of major value will hit the ground running, and allowing you to outrace most decks that you'll come up against. One more creature that's very important in this deck is Pain Seer. This highly underrated little brother of Dark Confidant works out great in a deck where the goal is to attack every turn. How this is still so undervalued at only 40 cents each is well beyond me, considering the card advantage you're getting. What about non-creature spells? I want to start with another incredibly overlooked card, Foul Tongue Shriek. This oftentimes is a winning play by itself, and it can save games that have not gone in your favor as well. I recommend a complete playset of these. A playset of Sign in Blood gives you great versatility. Draw into gas or target your opponent and deliver a loss of life that can finish the game. Finally, while we are taking a mostly aggressive stance here, a little bit of removal is warranted in the form of ultimate price. But all we want is a couple main board. The mana base is just 20 swamps and you're set to go. Great sideboard against white or green creature decks, which are something you're probably going to be seeing a lot of, is Self-Inflicted Wound, which is just such great color hate. If tokens are populating out of control at your meta, a little plague will thin out their numbers. Duress is the budget alternative to Thought Seize. This will let you get rid of control spells and planeswalkers alike. It's a must-have for the sideboard. Finally, an all-purpose heavy hitter in the form of Four Master of the Feast, or perhaps Four Pitiless Horde, finishes out the list. I personally prefer the Horde, but a a lot of decks out there are having extreme success with the Master. A few easy upgrade options for those on a slightly bigger budget or with these cards already in library would be a couple Heroes Downfall main board instead of ultimate price. I'd suggest two, but depending on your meta you can go as high as three. Another option is Obelisk of Erd, which is seeing a spike in price for a reason. And again, two to three of these main board can help you stomp out your opponent. Obviously, Thought Seize instead of Duress is an option, as is Brutal Horde Chief as your heavy hitter, although he does start to encourage you to go into a more typical Black-White Warriors build. And there you go. For about $25, you can sit down and play and win at Friday Night Magic and other in-store events. For those unsure where to start in standard, I would point to this list, above just buying an event deck any day of the week. And while it has gone up in cost somewhat since Cons of Tarkir, blue-white heroic builds can still be made on a budget, and still perform better than any pre-made deck is going to, as will a mono-red build such as we discuss here. I hope these videos have been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to subscribe, like, 
share with your friends, or just by leaving a comment. And remember, you're building these decks to go play Magic Friday nights at your local game store. So why not spend that money where you spend your time playing this great game?